let's learn introduction to sap lumira 2.0 so what is sap lumira 2.0 so it is it is one product with two clients so you know this first one was sap lumira discovery was uh, one tool and the other one was sap lumira uh, sap business objects design studio so both can be combined into a single one as sap lumira designer and that can be uh, that can create some enterprise uh, dashboards uh, based on the business thing so this this is one thing which is there uh, which was earlier as sap lumira discovery or maybe uh, design studio that can be moved to uh, this um, sap lumira uh, designer uh, so earlier whatever design studio 1.6 was there it has been uh, renamed as sap lumira designer or lumira 2.0 and what all all the features from sap lumira discovery has been integrated with this uh, lumira, uh, lumira designer and from design studio as well so that we will see each each of these features one by one so the first feature is uh, about business user visualizations to enterprise dashboard so whatever the visualizations were earlier in uh, designed in the lumira uh, discovery that can be uh, made in um, lumira designer with the enterprise dashboards then we don't need to switch the tools when the requirement changes so what happens is uh, whenever we have some uh, requ some requirement or some dashboards has been developed in lumira discovery only and uh, we wanted to add some more functionality in that da uh, dashboard but it is not possible with one tool lumira discovery so we need to get some other tool like design studio so that is not required now we can have only one uh, tool which is lumira Disco uh, designer that can be used uh, for all the requirements and we don't need to change or switch the tools then you improved ux in the sap uh, lumira discovery and ease of uh, use drives dashboard of operations there are many things which has been improved as a like various components which can be uh, easy for uh, developing the applications and uh, having quality dashboards then it supports lumira uh, de desktop which means whatever we was or whatever features was available in previously in lumira discovery that can be available in this uh, lumira designer uh, it can support offline applications as uh, so some of the uh, means sap design studio was uh, supporting uh, offline applications to be developed and uh, run by the users that can be also possible with this uh, design studio one point uh, with the uh, limira designer then server side i add on or reduces it admin cost so it it is as another feature then saves times and money of customer respecting customers investments in the sap design studio and sap limira so by having only one tool for all the requirements it saves cost of the customers and that 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 is going to help the customers then let's see high level architecture so this is what the architecture is generally uh, on the client side and then bi platform and database so client side we will have professional designer can use designer then business user uh, users can use uh, discovery uh, and then information consumer can use browser and whatever the cms repository is there and uh, server add-ons so these server add-ons are actually um, added uh, just to just to reduce that it admin cost and uh, to make use of most of the uh, features available with the lumira designer and then at the database side we can connect to bw uh, views or hana views then uh, universes and file or any third party uh, database uh, files as well so that can be online and uh, that can be uh, like data acquisition can be made on the server add-on components and then that can be used by the designer to create a powerful dashboard uh, to the users so this is an architecture of the lumira designer uh, the other features one is composite so the composites is uh, one component which uh, designers can create own reusable components with javascript so we can use some script and uh, we can create our own components which can be used in multiple applications uh, without a need to repeat the code again and again in each application so that is a, a composites then a mobile improvements uh, we have adaptive layout container which has been uh, added as uh, 
to improve the visibility on the mobile devices or tablets or uh, computers so it, it comes with small medium and large screen sizes depending upon the requirement and that can be possible with this adaptive layout container then rework bookmark, bookmark. Uh, so bookmark can be configured uh, by the designer uh, what is captured in the bookmark so that is what uh, we can so it is it was available in design studio 1.6 as well and it, ha it has been uh, uh, reworked uh, to just to get uh, new features that we will see in um, coming videos as well then uh, we have export enhancements so we can export uh, to sap uh, analysis for office and this was not possible with the earlier uh, tools but this can be possible means we can just uh, uh, export our uh, applications or dashboard to uh, analysis for office and can perform there some analysis on that uh, tool as well uh, then pdf improvement so in pdf uh, whenever we are exporting uh, uh, applications to PDF uh, there uh, we have some uh, additional functionality available which is geo map so earlier we were not able to do a geo map export that has been improved some of the chart quality has been improved uh, so that we will see in detail as well with the examples then some charting enhancements has been added uh, geo enhancements table enhancements new components there are some uh, shape and infographic uh, filter line components has been added uh, then uh, that th these components we will see in components units uh, in the next uh, videos then we will have uh, some other uh, miscellaneous uh, components which are like singly improved variable and member selection ux lock of entire rows or columns for planning applications scheduling of imported data sets and cons consistent dimension or mem member handling throughout the applications so these are the, some of the uh, lumira features which are available then let's come to the tool actually how to use as a designer how we can use and what are the design modes which are available so the first uh, um, de design mode is lumira documents so this is a uh, default doc uh, mode available so whenever we wanted to create a new applications we should use lumira document then next one is uh, sap business objects bi platform which was for uh, designer uh, design studio 1.6 uh, mode so whatever the applications uh, which which are built in design studio 1.6 can be converted to uh, lumira designer by using this mode so we need to use make use of this mode when we are opening any uh, design studio applications then legacy mode is for another like previous applications like uh, from lumira or from design studio that that can be uh, used so so this conversion or compatibility with the previous tool uh, we need to follow some steps uh, to do this conversions so let's see how this conversions can be happen so the first step is bi platform uh, uh, we need to use bi platform legacy this second option uh, sap business objects bi platform and uh, for uh, legacy whenever we wanted to do this so carry out manual adjustments for layout so any of the applications open this in first at bi platform legacy uh, mode then carry out some manual uh, adjustments for layout and chart sub, sub, suppose it uh, when you are opening any previous applications in legacy mode it may happen that this ma charts and uh, layouts may uh, disturb so we just need to adjust that manually and then we can export this application in 1.6 mode and uh, that is design studio 1.6 and uh, we can uh, just use this design studio compatibility mode and then we can import application in uh, 2.0 use lumira documents mode so once we import then it will be automatically converted so this is how it is uh, some uh, introduction concepts of the lumira uh, designer if you have any questions then please put it in uh, comment section if you like my video then please like it and subscribe to my channel as well thank you for watching